Okay. Can I ask, would you guys want um, a Patreon episode where we're all in tidy whities Of course they want it. That doesn't mean we have to give it to like, them. Like, wouldn't you want Dan in tidy whities Why and would that? Cooper also has a fat hog, so I've heard. Why, why would they not want that? It's not about what they want. It's about what we want. Should we just start recording? Okay, well, two out of three. Three out of four. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to Sissy Boys Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Dan Donahue. Cooper Lydon. I'm Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox, how are you? Glad to have you I'm on the good. podcast. I'm good. I'm so happy that I'm five foot two. Wait, you wouldn't and I get do... to star in Jamie action Fox movies. is not five foot two. Yeah, he is. I've seen him multiple times. And he's five foot two. He's tiny. That's okay. He's a, it's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's just a fact. He's five six, five seven. No, that's what his IMDb You're says. You're tall. You think everyone who's not six foot is I five think two. I'm five seven. If I was judging him, I would say he's four foot three. <laughs> Oh, so you're, you're being magnanimous by saying that he's five foot he two. He is short and he wears like three or four inch insoles. Does he really? Yes, and so does Robert Johnny Jr. and they're best friends. That's they're so both cute. tiny. Oh my god, that's so cute. You think they touch I think tips? in actuality they're both five four. Five two is an exaggeration. Right. But they are short. And they're both short kings. And they're they powerful. Both are yeah. incredibly rich. Yeah. In the last Avengers movie, Robert Downey Jr. made more money than every other actor combined. Really? Do you think it's because he's such a draw? Yeah. It's because Iron Man was the first Marvel movie to make the studio money. That's true. Yeah, that makes so sense. So he kind of set the like stage. And so his agents at CAA were like... If you were to play a superhero in a movie, which one would it be? Big faggot man. That's not a... I don't know. I have see. I'm not deep into lore, but yeah, I can't. don't know. No, no, no. In uh, canon, is you, that in canon? You can't say Nick no Cannon. To what he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Matt, Nick, Nick I support, Cannon. If I, I was to play you. a superhero, I'd be Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> that dude. That is a good superhero. <laughs> On Wild and <laughs> <laughs> He is a superhero to me. You know what I mean? Um, truthfully, if I was to play a superhero, one of my first crushes was Chris O'Donnell in Batman and Robin. Yeah. Did you watch that with George Clooney as Batman? Oh I'm no, I never watched with George. Cl- I watched the old, old one. With, uh, what's his name? Brian West. Bri- Adam, West. Adam, Adam West. West. Adam West. Adam West. Oh, what? Yeah. Could you? Oh, the old, old, old the one. old, old one. Okay, no. The fourth Batman movie after the Tim Burton's one starred George Clooney as Batman, Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. Really? Chris O'Donnell. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. I never saw this. It's lit. It's one of the like m- biggest production nightmares you ever. You would be Mr. Freeze, I feel. Thank you. I was yeah. going to say I would be Robin. Oh, you, but that's but just that's because, because of the sex I, aspect. That's because I'd be Robin Pussy. You just gotta... <laughs> could you just give an answer? Do not throw the peace sign to the cameras. Why? Now, we have a lot of listeners on Spotify. A, they can't see the peace sign. B, oh. now that I think about it, they're lucky that they can. I think a peace sign is fine. Why? I'll oh, okay, so you enjoy... Not to the side like you that. You enjoy the war in Ukraine. <laughs> is that what you're saying? That is not what I'm saying. Because I'm more into peace. Yeah, but you're throwing it to the side. That's disrespectful. Oh, it, it looks like cunnilingus. Right, exactly. Okay. Well, eating pussy is a symbol of peace. Yeah. He spoke at the Not Grammys. in my community. Not in your community. In your community, it's a sign of war. <laughs> the sign of not being <laughs> in my community. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, uh, gay people are often the most uh, misogynistic. And so... I, I th- wouldn't say the often the... Mo- I would say they can be predisposed to it. Oh, so you're allowed to define what gay people are. <laughs> I'm, I'm defining yeah, them. Yeah, no. Define them all into one little box. Okay, I and will then throw it away say, like you would. Go ahead. In an ideal world, this everyone would crazy. be like Cooper. But I just don't know... Yeah, that's completely true. I, Except that Cooper's only into femme twings. Yeah. And that fucking sucks. No, I mean, I'm sure a lot of the reason I wouldn't fuck muscular guys is just still, like, internalized homophobia. It's I not like I'm completely unattracted Oh, because you still want to be feel like I'm, like you're the, like, you're the, like, man. I mean, yeah, probably as much as I don't want to admit it, sure. I do feel like my taste, as far as, like, people that I've talked to who aren't completely straight, my tastes are maybe more broad. Because I know so many gay guys who are like, I only fuck them twinks or I only go after bears or whatever but it's like I don't really have anything like that yeah that's because you fuck women Whoa. yeah but I'm saying like oh wait what are you saying yeah everyone though? I fuck is pretty femme now that I think about it yeah wait, even like what are you saying though like I would fuck an incredibly strong woman I would fuck a big woman a small one. like I don't really have anything that defined. I would fuck any type of guy as long as he's hairy and fat <laughs> <laughs> and will demean you sexually uh, or will be demeaned sexually. Yeah. Or and is okay with you throwing up 
uh, or at the cat throwing up. I talked sex. to a man recently at the bar that I work at, and he's like definitely a certified sex addict. And he was talking about how he has this guy who comes over and sucks his dick and he leaves buckets around the bed because the guy will suck his dick to the point of throwing up and he'll just continually throw up. And Wait, th- so the same guy will do this? Yeah, so it's this guy. Like, let's say it the, would be crazy. Let's if it say was the, different the guys. guy at the bar is Brian, and he has Joe come over and suck his cock. Joe sucks his dick to the point of throwing up. So Brian has buckets around his bed so That's that Joe can so throw up in the bucket. Funny. Then he's like, oh, and then it gets to this really that thick is, saliva, and at that point, it's so good. That is such a funny way to enact bulimia. Yeah, like what if that guy is just bulimic, but it's his way of being like, oh no, it's like a sex thing. Oh, God, that's really twisted. What if he's not even into sucking dick? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's straight. It's he's like, just trying to lose like weight. like guys become gay through crystal meth. He's like becoming gay through bulimia. <laughs> like if someone, if a girl had a fat enough clit, he'd do that. That's Yeah, that's why I'm. This that, is such a trashy episode. I remember yeah. when I. We're going to get kicked off of IG Live, I feel. Why? Oh, my God. I look so fat without facial hair. You don't look fat. You said he looked fat before the podcast. I started. didn't. I just yeah. like agreeing. I'm trying to. I'm trying to not yuck people's yum. So when he said I look fat, I was like, I support you. You're go like, yeah, on. But no. Yeah, but yeah, he. Hell but, yeah, you look fat. No, but Matt was trying to yuck his own yum, and you supported the yucking of his own yum. So you were yucking his yum. Yeah, you were supposed to yum me. I guess it's a. It's an it ontological. Would be like, you look thick, but like in a way that's like, damn, girl. It's sort of like an ontological, magnanimous, philosophical sort of argument yeah, what, of the 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 hyperbole of yuck and the hypertrophy of yum. Why have you dropped magnanimous twice? Like, are you reading a thesaurus? It's not I'm, embarrassing. You can tell us. Are you reading a? And you're a just going to drop ontological as if none of us have been to Ontario. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, you see, I'm, I've just been I've just been brushing up on my on my incredible uh, knowledge, which is already there. I feel like I'm I'm less learning, I'm more uncovering the surface of of my all of already, what uh, ma- mass massanimous. What are you amount running of from? Yeah, <laughs> what do you mean? What are you running? Are you from? reading a book right now? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You're like, I just learned how to read, dude. I'm if you're reading, just tell us. Okay, just I'll, be honest. I'll be real with all of you. Okay. What's been happening is I've been wearing a lot more sleeveless shirts out in public. And no. A lot of people No. A lot of people call it brave. I just call it living my life. Okay? So uh, I've been walking around, I've been covering my arms for years and years and years out of fear due to the the gaze of others. And I've finally decided the gaze? Yeah, the gaze of others. I said what I said. Okay. So now okay. I've decided to walk around with uh, with sleeveless. I've decided to be brave. I've decided to go out. And people, when you walk around without sleeves, assume that you're dumb. Is it more comfortable to be sleeveless? Oh yeah. People don't assume that unless it's you who's walking that around without sleeves. That is not true. You're being rude. No, I mean, yeah, he's kind of right. You guys are both being rude. If Matt had no sleeves, I'd be like super gay. And then if they saw me, I don't even know. They'd just be like, be like that guy's a fucking genius. I'm being brave. They'd probably see me and be like, he's a nerd no, that's he's trying a, to be. They would be like, that guy is on crystal meth. They'd be like, yeah. Yeah. Like that. They'd be a like, guy yeah. like you in a sleeveless shirt, there's there's drugs involved. I would like to walk around yeah. shirtless, but I don't want to raise the sexual energy through the roof. The re- sexual energy of what? The street? Yeah. People <laughs> would be f- losing their minds. People would be going nuts. I, I just don't want to enact chaos in Virgil Village. Right. <laughs> Virgil would, would explode. The night they the night they burned the Virgil. Woman to the woman at the pupuseria would start having sex with the carne asada. She was she was giving you a little bit of hungry eyes. She's so beautiful. She's beautiful. That would be crazy if you were just like ordering at a juice bar and then the like the lady taking your order started grabbing her tits. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Argh! and you were like, Whoa. I was at a restaurant and yesterday go, go and uh Someone, uh, someone was like, "Oh, you must have yeah, like I, I know that you're from TikTok or whatever." And she, by the way, she didn't say she followed me. She said, "I've seen your videos," and I was like, "Oh, uh, I, I said thank you." And then I was like, "Oh, wait, I didn't." As a I, just trying to be nice, I was like, "Oh, I said thank you, but you could have paid the videos." And she was like, "Oh no, they're fine." <laughs> Real, <laughs> yeah. She's like, I have some notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it it double sucked because she wasn't like she wasn't double outwardly suck. like your videos are good. But then it was like that's the worst. But then it was like, oh, she like recognized me, so now I have to tip really well. So I I, I tipped like the, crazy when people are like, oh, I, I I saw you on a show the other day. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. don't say anything after. I, I'll, I'll I'm be, just like, and? I'll be honest, when I pressed, she was eventually like... And you were on stage. She, she was eventually like, oh, no, they're good, like, whatever. But it was not It was not a... Uh, but also, that's someone who is in, a, is, is in a subservient position. Right. And that's the best that she could and do. And she hasn't gotten like, a tip yet. Oh, they were good. Yeah, 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 Like, yeah. she's not in a winning position. It's Damn. Like, hey, my girl's here. Can you say that... You're attracted to me, please. That means she really hated the videos. That means she, or she needed that tip, but still wouldn't be that like, means oh she, my God, she, give me your cum. And now I was in there with That's no was, sleeves. I'm going to be honest. I was sleeveless. Wait, and, you ate dinner and no sleeves? Well, I like I said, I've, I've been being brave lately. Where? What was the restaurant? Uh, it was a very nice restaurant. I won't say the restaurant because I said that I said the story about the server there. Were you at La Labo? No. If there's one thing that's I a, hate. That's a store that sells lotion. It's when people don't dress for the meal. Oh, like, I we'll, yeah. Go, we'll go to a nice fucking meal, and then Nate will wear like a Narragansett like starter. He'll wear jacket. a NASCAR jacket. Yeah, he'll yeah. wear a NASCAR jacket. That's awesome. To a dinner where you know we're paying like two eighty. I so disagree. I feel like that's the biggest flex of all time is going to a nice restaurant also, and wearing I normal clothes. Think wearing NASCAR jackets is like a very Hollywood thing. But like, he gets them actually at like the Daytona five hundred. I know, but that's even cooler. And right. I think like that is like kind of a weird flex, like you were saying. I'm right. agreeing. I'm yumming your yum. Do you no, know? You I can, think you should just. Dress but when nice. are you going to dinner for two hundred eighty bucks? As much as I can. Like, yeah, that's a good question because my dinner was not 200 Where bucks. is this happening? Not even you and Nate are constantly going to dinners and he's underdressed. Not even to... I mean, there was a stretch where for my birthday and for other reasons, there were nice dinners happening and Nate was at several of him. Yeah. At them. And he loves food, but he did not dress for it. And I was like, the whole time I was kind of like... You're being disrespectful because he showed you those restaurants for the most part. Do you hate God? Do you hate Jesus? You know, <laughs> like whatever. I'm not. I think he was disrespecting the fish and the halibut and the seasoning and the thyme and the brining and everything that goes into it. No. I put on a shirt, it's sleeves at least. Dude, if you go into a restaurant and you're sleeveless and it's like a nice restaurant, everybody thinks you are the man. No. Everybody looks everybody was looking at me and going, That's a that's a scholar, that's a genius, that's a visionary. Yeah, I mean there are moments in your life that if I didn't know you, I would look at you and I'd be like, I would never want to know. Oh, him. the first time you met me, you didn't like me. Is that true? Oh yeah. Pretty openly. What happened? In Cooper's defense, the first time he met anyone, he didn't like himself. Too. Right. Uh, well, no, I mean, obviously, that's where everything comes from in the, you know. Everything revolves around Cooper. Everything revolves around Cooper. Image. No, like everybody who, who, I'm the son. who has resentment for others has a little bit of resentment for themselves for the most part. A lot of it. Whoa! Of it. Where's this coming from? <laughs> no, what happened the first time we met? I remember we were in a circle of people. So I had, I had just moved to L.A., and like everyone knew, everyone knows who Cooper is, right? Like in the scene, even everyone if they knows. even if they don't love you, they they know who you are, right? They're like, oh, Cooper, right? Because they've seen you do something at a mic that's memorable. Okay. Every individual yeah, I appreciate person. that. It's Fucking true. Destroy. Yeah, like destroy, or sometimes even a man's face. Well, this isn't an insult. I hope this isn't an insult, but it's like when I do bad my set is bad and not memorable for the most part, right? Like, like when I do bad, it's like my jokes are failing. I'm mostly doing jokes. And I usually don't go off like on, on tangents or, or like open it up or whatever. When you do bad, I it's make, I make almost sure. always memorable. Yeah, I make sure they remember. Yeah. You, when you do bad, the venue goes out of business. The venue goes out of business. Someone goes to the hospital. Someone goes to jail. A, a lady gets pregnant. But uh, yeah. but so so I moved to L.A. Everyone knows Cooper. I, like, I know who Cooper is. We're in a circle of people. And, like, I, I make a joke in the circle that bombs. I forget exactly what it was. It was just, like, I tried to say something funny. And then... The, the conversation completely moves on with no one acknowledging the joke. And Cooper uh, Cooper turns to me and just goes, come on. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> it was at Flappers in the hallway. Wow, this is just a setup for success. And it was to be mean. You were already pissed about something. And it was to be mean. It was to be mean. Whoa. You had maybe seen me at like one mic. Yeah. And you're like such a nice guy, and you're just. I was just a trying to meet people. And, yeah, and you're just trying to meet people. My dad was about to die two weeks later. You know what I mean? I was gearing up for that. Did that hurt you, or are you just like this is like a little dick? Oh yeah, I was. I was immediately thrown off. I was like, oh yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, damn, that's but crazy. It, it we planted became friends. a little seed in you where you were like, it is my mission to befriend this person right because until i earn his respect i'm no one in this city well me and cooper became friends because we both went through a pretty uh dramatic breakups at the same time 
and then we would joke about how we'd be like, oh, I'm dating someone now. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's your girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Fucking would, your girlfriend. We would go back and forth. And that's really how I th- I wish more therapists taught that that's how healing actually happens is by telling your friend that you're fucking his girlfriend. It's where the healing's done. Yeah. Yeah, the healing's over. It's where friendships happen. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I have a, I, yeah, a lot of people, I don't, I think I realize I, I make really terrible first impressions because people oh, that yeah. I know that are friends with me will be like, yeah, I remember I met you and I was like, like my one friend Hector was like, yeah, the first time I met you, I was like, I don't know. I guess that guy's mad today. <laughs> and I was like, really? I I was trying to be funny in front of you. He was like, I, don't, I, just, I was just like, I don't know. Maybe he's just a dick or he's just having that a That wasn't your day. experience with Cooper, right? My first impression? Yeah. It was terrible. My first impression was every day for a year, Cooper bombed like hell. And I was just like, this is insane. Is this too much? Are we being too much towards you right no, now? No, no it, this is it just true. Into okay, like a really yeah. encouraging, beautiful time. And then sure. Kurt Cooper cries. Well, but, I feel like... Oh, you want me to then, finish or no? Uh, well, I was going <laughs> to say something about you. I feel like you have a, a much better propensity for like dealing with people's uh, aggression, though. I you, love chaos. You love chaos, and you kind of absorb it and then reuse it. You're like Kirby can when I it comes say, to anger. Can I just? Oh, like I become a you, part of you it. You absorb it and then you like you like use it back. So my best friend and I were at Millie's yesterday. I was with Maddie Lewis, or you guys. Have, I think you've met Maddie, but anyways, we were at Millie's yesterday. We finish up eating and we're like probably gonna head home. And then we see this girl across the street at like the outside of Yummy.com. Do you know that little yeah. store? Yummy. F- fuck a place with dot com. It's because most of their sales are online orders. I don't but care. Anyways, this girl comes yeah. out and she's like, you better back the fuck up or I'm going to kill you. And Maddie and I were about to get my car and we're like, let's go over. <laughs> and so we pull out, our, we like cross the street and we just stand there and it's these two girls and one of them had scratched the other girl and we're like, what's going on? And the girl was like, I just choked that bitch out because she tried to take two parking spots. Uh, she didn't choke her out for sure. The, both of them were bleeding. They were bleeding, but and the one girl out, was. No she was Why? like, "I choked her out once," and I was like, "Are you gonna calm the fuck down?" I believe both of these women. She was like, "Are you gonna calm the fuck down?" Because if you choke someone out, you've choked them unconscious. That's oh, okay. It's just like believe an expression. Women. It's just. <laughs> it's an expression. Okay. I don't think it applies to that. Yes, circumstance. it does. It applies to that circumstance. If a woman tells you, "I kicked that motherfucker's ass." I'm not saying she didn't kick her ass. I'm saying choked out means you choke someone unconscious. If you're talking to someone while you're you choked them out, they're not choked out. She okay. probably. Meant Dan, choked what, induced, are you gonna do you this know. argument when someone's like, "I beat the shit out of them"? You're like, "Oh, did poop come out of their asshole?" No, but beat the shit is a broad term. Choked out specifically means I choke someone unconscious. It's like saying I knock someone out. It's like, no, they were still oh, oh, well. She okay, I, which people do. I don't people think talk so. about I think street it's fights. Just an exaggeration. No, no, no. no. Do, this is a big problem with that toxically oh masculine God. woman and toxically masculine men. Will they will they will exaggerate street fights, and that is the. That is the most egregious offense when you are exaggerating a street fight. It, like hmm. people will say, I knocked a guy out. It's like, no, you landed a punch and maybe they wobbled. That's not a knockout. Do you think she landed, uh, got a solid hold on her? She might. A no, I rack? doubt it. I honestly doubt I it. I think there's just different definitions for the same term. I believe her. Because I just think she meant like she like had control and she was like, I'm going to let you go if you calm the fuck down. Right, but that's so not she choking let- someone out. Based on your dumbass Boston perspective. The so then anyway, she let go of the girl's neck and then the girl went after her again. So then she quote unquote choked her out again. And then the girl fucking scratched her and she's fucking bleeding from her back because she had acrylics. Anyways, it was fucking awesome. My point is that me and my friend were just standing there and I was like, and then I turned to Maddie and I was like, I honestly feel uncomfortable because I'm a really tall white guy and I feel like I'm the next target. And then the girl with <laughs> acrylic nails, her boyfriend came out and. Oh yeah, get out of there. And he definitely had a gun. And I didn't see it, but so cool. You know, when someone has a gun, they yeah. just have Cooper, drive a Cooper Dodge Lydon Charger. Energy. And um, yeah, and then he was like, the girl was like, you, the girl um, who was originally attacked was like, you better leave. Like, you guys better head out. Like, I called the cops. You better leave. And the the dude was like, really, like, really calmly, like, you better not tell me what the fuck to do. Whoa. And I was just like, I was, I was like, I'm gonna get killed. You yeah. were so hard though. I was hard. He sounds hot. He all these people sound horrible hot. Horrible teeth. Oh, they oh, all yeah. sound like hot. He had to two me. teeth that were like one centimeter long and like one centimeter wide and four inches long. Dude, it sucks when you approach a street <laughs> fight with the intention okay. of like, I want to break things up. Exactly. I don't want these people to like get hurt. All that stuff, and then you get there and you're like, oh no, these people just want to throw their lives. Yeah, away. but well, I wasn't course, there to break up fight. the fight. I was there to fucking enjoy the show. Right, but even that, I in Boston, I was on my way to a girl's house and uh, I saw these two guys like drunkenly fighting in a park, and I walked over to them. 
And I was like, guys, like they like lying. Obviously, they didn't. But I was like, oh, they called the cops and they're like, just get out of here. Like you, you shouldn't be doing this or whatever. One of the guys stands up from kicking the other guy's ass and then starts walking towards me to kick my ass. And then he's so drunk, he fell over his own feet and like face planted in the ground. And I was just like, all right. And I turned around and I didn't even run away. I just walked away. Oh, that's so funny. It was so funny. Dude, he wanted to kick my ass, and he was so drunk he couldn't beat a, a saunter. Yeah. I just have one clarifying question, though. Yeah. When you say that he wanted to beat your ass, do you mean that he literally wanted to touch your butt? He might want to touch my, my butt. butt. Like, when you're just... I'm just making sure. Yeah, well, in Boston, it's like... Uh, so, when you said he kicked the guy's ass, was he just, like, only... Like, with his foot, he was hitting the guy's butt? What do you say? If you punch someone in the face, and they didn't, like fall on the ground with their eyes closed when you say i knocked that guy out like just when you punch them we say oh you got knocked out yeah okay you're, well then we avoiding, have different different ways of describing things and that's avoiding, okay you're no 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 question. i want it i want it but right. yeah you're avoiding the question you're what, what is he saying question. what's the question he asked if how would you define kicking someone's ass um mr president he they're asked on the you. ground they're defenseless it's like i i would go ufc rules where it's like you you no longer have the ability to intelligently defend yourself that's getting your ass kicked. And then if you I continue agree, yeah. kicking their ass after I'm gonna that, stop being then it's a beat down. That, then it's a beat down. Yeah. Or a stomp out. Stomp out. Right. Similar. It's a curb stomp. And that no. was related. No, no. That's a specific thing. <laughs> is it? Yeah. No, no. At, yeah, curb stomp is a specific. I'm just kidding. I know. And this whole fighting story you brought up when asked, what was it like when you first met me? I was like, that was I'm going to fucking get acrylics question. and beat the shit out of this bitch. I did uh, see when it. I first met Cooper, it was like six months of him bombing every day. And me and like Jake Nordwood and other people would look around and be like, God, this kid hates himself. Yeah. And like he keeps doing it every day. And it was like, Jesus Christ, like this is painful. That's when I And was then like six months, a year in, then like the same dudes, we would like look around and we we're like, damn, this guy's like. Got it. You figured and it out. It was like a beautiful thing where it was like we literally watched the like caterpillar turn into a butterfly and we're like, oh, like he did the work of like bombing every day. Like I I never bombed like that hard when I started, but I was aggressive and annoying. Right. And if I it like takes a lot of confidence to be that bad and then to get good. Right. Whereas mine was like I was fine and now I'm still like a little bit better than fine. You yeah. know what I mean? Whereas Cooper was like bad damn. Right, which I did is a really, beautiful thing. I did really well my first time. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I kept doing it. Oh yeah, but that's when me and Matt became closer because I saw him at Tara's, and one of the things he said is he was like, "I used to just see you." <sighs> I mean, God, yeah, right. Have the worst. He has like a Vietnam. Stare. He could barely say it, and then he was like, "But then you got funny," <laughs> and I was like, "I really appreciate that." You traumatized him. I was traumatized. It was one yeah. of the best compliments I've got. That's really funny. But uh, yeah, I think Cooper's very funny. But I would go in there and I'd scare people. But anyway, I didn't mean to take it away from the fighting. I will. I did, oh, go ahead. Keep no, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say I've noticed in myself that I am incredibly, incredibly judgmental upon like first meeting someone. Like I like decide right then unconsciously. Like it's just something that I do. Everyone does. And I have realized time and time again that I'm wrong. Yeah. Like, I'm almost always like I'm like, oh, that person's an annoying bitch. And then like. I interact with them later and I was like, oh, they're really cool. And like, I can't believe I was so quick to judge them. But I'm just finding it out more and more. So now when I have an interaction with someone, I'm like, that person fucking sucks. And I'm just reminded like, right. Oh, you probably for some reason are defensive yourself. And like, right. I've never been wrong. Yeah, I've never been wrong. Yeah, either. that's true. I've always been right about people. I believe that's that. Especially your ex-girlfriend that you dated for five years. Three. Okay. Three well, years. She's great, actually. She's good. There are other examples. Oh, she's nice. Well, I love her. I'm dating her now, and she's great. She just became a research assistant at at her college. I'm the researcher. It's pretty cool. She's a she's researching Dan. <laughs> um, I mean biology, and Dan is human. So I am human. She could probably. Wow, yeah. this is incredible. Would you let my ex research her body? Me? Yeah. Like for a study? I don't know. Yeah. Just research. Like, she comes in with a notebook. And I mean, then, I believe in science. And then you're, like, hanging from, like, strings under your armpits. I mean, yeah, that like, sounds cool. Ow! Let me the fuck out of here! And she's like, you're going to die. Right. Shit like that. She's, she's hitting me with a cattle prod. Yeah. Dude, we should just, like, kidnap a guy for this yeah. podcast. You know what I mean? And interview him. 
and like chain him to the table. We would get so many views if we just took a guy on Santa Monica Boulevard and put him on the chair and then took the tape off his mouth and we were like, so dude, what's up? Yeah. Like we, we rip it off aggressively and then we're like, okay, cool. Anyway, we hung out last, last night. night and yeah. we watched Celebrity Big Brother season three. And I wasn't there for some reason, which is so cool. You guys didn't let me there. You initiated plans. I was at my mom's house. I was like going back. And then yep. Matt's like, we're going to meet at my house. And I was like, That's cool. True. We'll all hang there. Matt said he bought Modelo's. I was excited. And then on mm-hmm. the way, I get a text not even from Matt. I never heard from you at all. Okay, if you keep taking this fucking tone with me, number one, we're going to have a problem. It's the tone I have when I'm if hurt. If you're going to use this fucking tone it's with me. the tone I have when I'm hurt. Me, d- take down your tone. Yelling is is a form of violence. Lower your tone. Lower your tone. I'll lower it, but I can't change the yeah, pain with it. Yelling and screaming is a form of violence. Well, Cooper is also he's me. also voicing like he's um, being a voice for the voiceless, which is myself. Yeah. Yeah. I told you about the ex girlfriend I had, where we were talking in the car and she did something that upset me, and I I swear to God I was not yelling. My voice just went up, and she was like, "I actually think uh, yelling is a form of violence." And you're like, cool, that's irrelevant to this discussion. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you should have said. Well, she was like, I believe that murder is wrong. <laughs> no, I was just like, <laughs> you're like, okay, well. I was just, well, right. I, dope. <laughs> immediately in, in my head, I was just like, yeah, then this, uh, this isn't going to work out. Did you hey, say consider that? yourself KO. <laughs> she, I think she didn't even say yelling because it was, I was so far from yelling. I think she literally said, I, I feel like, uh, like using a high volume is a form of violence. Do you know what's the best? And you're response? like, that's interesting. I believe acting like a fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> right. We listened to hard rock all the way home. Do you know what's <laughs> the best response that would have been to her saying, I think yelling is a form of violence? You just look at her and you go, Violence! <laughs> and that's <laughs> I hit my head against the steering wheel yeah. as hard as I can. But yeah, speaking of violence, yeah, keep going. You said you wanted to hang out last night. Yeah. And then on my way over to Matt's, I get a text from Matt and he's like, Dan bailed. Yeah. After I had frantically cleaned my apartment and bought beer, even though I so what you're saying is your life got better because I wanted to hang out. Yeah, I spent money on beer that I didn't want to drink. But then it got worse because you abandoned us. Like seventeen (laughs) dollars. Hey, I'll Venmo you. I don't want it. I got that kind of stuff. No, Dan, it it was a hundred dollars for the. I'll Venmo you. It was a hundred. I got that money. Modelo has gone up like gas. <laughs> Modelo has gone up like gas. And the no. whole time I'm driving there, I'm like, maybe Dan's going to text me and be like, hey, I'm not making it. Okay, so here's what happened on my end. Whole I time. wanted to hang out. I told both of you I wanted to hang out. Me and my girlfriend, we got massages. We got a nice little dinner. We came to my house. She sucked me off. Did you do anything for her? I bought the massages. Did you suck her off? She. I asked and she said, no, thank you. Did you... Um, like, uh, touch her in ways that made her feel valued. I did. Okay, I did. I was just it's just kind of interesting. You and just then kind of be like blowjob, and then I'm heading out. And then no, no, no. And then that we played. Really we played poker right. against each other, mono y mono. Wait. So the blowjob wasn't the last thing she did before she left. No. That's interesting. I don't know why. No, we hung out. No, when you're in love with someone, it's yeah, not that's always my, the last. I've been well, here for a year. I'm not saying she's going to be like, <laughs> all right, and then yeah. leave, but it just seems <laughs> that's like. Sound, that's Cooper's impression of her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, you know. I'm done now. Got done with the came for. Done with the wet dick. But no, it just seems like, oh, like we go home, play poker, and then we retire you really to the like bedroom. When you really like someone, like you, after you come, you don't feel like a disgusting... No, you're, you're putting all <laughs> this shit on it. I'm just saying, it just seems like... And these like, are the reasons I don't want to hang out with Cooper, okay? You seemed, see, this is why I didn't come over. He just wants to suck you off and go home. He just wants to... Yeah, like hangout-wise, what Cooper will do is he'll do... He'll tell I one... I was like, when he came over, I was like, Cooper, I just want to hang out. And he's like, can I just suck you off and go home? Yeah. It's a fucking question. <laughs> I literally can't ask a question okay. now. How the fuck do you think science works? Literally. Okay. Oh, my God. Now, Cooper, you you had an interview for the comedy store, right? A, a long time ago. And what was the first thing you said to the person who was interviewing you? Tell the people. Can I suck you off? Yeah, right. And do you think that that helped your chances or hurt your chances? Is this true? It helped. It helped. <laughs> what, is, what are you guys talking about? Well, you can't about? apply that to friendship just because it's business. Business is business, and business <laughs> is booming. <laughs> My stomach is full of cum. 
But no, I don't know. I'm just saying I feel like usually yeah. if you think about like when a blowjob would happen in the course of two people hanging out, a lot of times it's like kind of like goal line. Right in the middle. No, no, no. I have a, that's, that's intermission, baby. That's getting your popcorn. Yeah, but you also didn't fuck. So I'm actually just thinking of just sex sex in general, where it's like oral or fit, like whatever kind of sexual shit. Usually that just happens at the end of something. Um, Especially because she left your home. No, the afterwards hang is the best part. Yeah, that's see, that's, that's where, where I, true intimacy is. No, I get a that's hang. That's where you have to learn. No, I get the hang, but it just sounds poker is like a whole nother activity. Yeah, you can do multiple right. activities. Play poker. We we'll walk around in rows. I feel like you guys are just putting a lot of negative. When vibes you're in on love me, with frankly, someone, it's just, you can it's do just, a lot of things. It's just interesting to just the, be like, the all BJ right, is not the main event. Right. Well, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's the main event. I'm just saying usually God it happens it. after stuff. Cooper, Cooper, you have a lot of talk you out. Yeah, yeah, BJ is. <laughs> it's just interesting. Just to I just be, choked him out. You know, just to BJ is. It's, it's almost like when people are like, oh. You know, it's like when people were like, oh, I, you know, I had a sandwich and some chips and a cup of water and that was my lunch. And I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess that is enough. You know, what like a sad just a, lunch. Yeah. But it's like, Sorry. or, or, you know what I mean? Like just like a well portioned meal, like, oh, just a BJ, you know, right. but then it's like, well, good for you for not, you know, maybe overindulging. I don't know. Right. You know what I mean? A BJ is, or a BJ is like a small um, bag of like famous Amos cookies, where you're like, that is enough. I feel like any time where you don't I need more suck, like if if my dude and I just like do oral, it's because it's not because I'm like I want you to suck my dick. Every time it's like I want a dick in my mouth, and I think the same is for him. I'm never like I want my dick sucked. He's right. like he's like I just want to suck a dick. Right. It's more exciting to suck a dick than to have your dick suck. Yeah, it's not like my favorite like thing at all. Away. But it's hot that that's what I'm going to say you guys have a skewed view on that. What do you mean? I'm going to go ahead and say I think it's more exciting for me to get my dick sucked than oh, you think it's you're to suck a dick. Do you think yeah. it's exciting to get your dick sucked? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay. It's that's like, the least like I mean, thing in the world. it's the closest I get to be uh, Brian Gosling in the movie Driver. Okay, I understand that. You've never stomped someone out in an elevator? It feels like stomping someone out, and I'm like, "This is dangerous. What's gonna happen?" I feel like it's kind of like Postmates, where you're like, "Ah, oh, man, I <laughs> can't like, wait." She got teeth. <laughs> She's about to suck my dick. She's like, "Why did you put that jacket on?" I'm like, "It's my special jacket. Shut up." It's a cool jacket. <laughs> Why is that cowboy hat? Where did that come from? <laughs> I just got the scorpion tattooed. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I feel like sometimes blowjobs are like Postmates, where you're like, "I'm so excited for this to happen," and then it comes, and you're like, "Oh, this is great." But like, really, the waiting was the fun. no. Like Chick Fil A tastes good, but when it was on the way, was there was like oh, the so much there was so much opportunity in the air. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I, I can't agree with that. Can I ask? Um, I have been seriously. I guess I'm the fucking devil then. That's already been established. Yeah, I have been seriously considering getting a tramp stamp. Yeah, that'd be so, so funny. Oh, sexy. God. oh my God, get uh, it. Don't. What's yeah. wrong with that? Don't. Cooper, you don't what? want Matt walking around like a little slut in Venice Beach? Dude, it's... How hot would it look if I had like a butter, like a trashy oh butterfly Yeah, with like tat. the little the little like spinning... Dude, tramp just, stamps are coming back. And I have back. like the little patch of hair above my ass, which so is like, it would be the most adorable thing. Ugh. The contrast. You're sex negative, dude. You know what's so funny is I that would be so funny, but just also in my in my brain, I'm like, what kind of fucking Cooper is such? Piece of see, trash. it's so funny because he's so like progressive, but then sometimes he's I just like a gen. It. He's like a Gen X dad. You know what I mean? Oh, well, absolutely. He's like, boom, he's like a boomer dad. He's like you kids and your butterfly butt crack tattoos. Right. It's like all putting, I'm trying to do is suck a girl with a dick. You don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. <laughs> You're wearing short sleeves to dinner. You got a fucking monarch right above your ass, <laughs> and you think you deserve a top tier man? No, you should get. You should absolutely get a fucking tramp stamp. Dude. I'm really excited about it now. Maybe I'll get it in Vegas. Yeah, that's fun. I'm going to Vegas tomorrow. Ugh, and you're going to deny. You're like the dudes in the comment section of that video saying that if a woman fucks more than one guy, she's a uh, garbage. I literally commented that. Yeah. Yeah, you did comment that. <laughs> no, I'm different from those but guys. If, okay, so Cooper. Can you get a podcast tattoo? Get a mic. <laughs> get a microphone. I would kill myself. I would kill. If I woke up and that was on my back, I would kill myself. Did you get awesome. sissy boys on your back? No. If we, reach, if we reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, would you get a Sissy Boys tattoo? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, we've been doing this for like 13 episodes. You're not going to get a tattoo? <laughs> I'm waiting for results. Literally been... <laughs> okay. Dude, we have like a... Hun- Dude, our last video got like 165 views. 165 views. Um, you want to talk about results? Uh, 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 
That's huge. Gun to head, Cooper. My favorite kind of Cooper. Go on. Gun to, when I make gun my to best. head, Cooper. <laughs> when do you make your best decisions? Definitely gun to my head. <laughs> gun to head, Cooper. Gun to cock and head. Whoa. You have to get a tramp stamp. What are you getting? Are you getting I Love Music? Um, oh, I don't know. That's really, that's really good. Yeah. That would be really good. You bend over and it just says, I, I love, love music. music. <laughs> yeah, I mean, words are... I Yeah. I don't know why gun words to head, gun to cock. don't make sense. What is your tramp stamp? For some reason, the first thing I thought, I don't know if this would be it, but like a... Like a like a baseball, but that's like a cartoon character that has like a face and it's smiling and it's like, hey, and it's like a baseball character. And but he has like hands coming out of the baseball. I That's what I was wondering. I don't know. Maybe that. Because it or, seems like you want it oh, to be a horizontal. This is pretty hacky, but if you kind of imagine it, it's very funny. Um, just like a photorealistic image of like Osama bin Laden's face. I told you there's a rapper, Moneybag Yo, who has Osama bin Laden tattooed. And he was just showing off his tattoos and not really mentioning it. But then everybody in the comments was like, is that Osama bin Laden? <laughs> That's really And he's funny. like, yeah, mad respect. I mean, there's a guy that has Anne Frank tattooed on his face. Yeah. And people ask him about it. He's like, it just reminds me to keep going. <laughs> I'm like, there's so You're many. You're like, she stopped at 13. Ask me what my tattoo would be. Um, my tramp stamp. Okay, gun to cock, gun to head, yeah. gun to your girlfriend's head. Oh, my God. You have to get a tramp stamp. Yeah. What is it? Uh, it would say emergency contact and then my mom's name and her phone number. Oh, that's <laughs> actually, yeah, that's pretty good. That's but then I'm gonna solid. come on your mom's phone number. Yeah. What if you just got the same tattoo you have here, but then just also a tramp stamp of it? <laughs> the, the exact. What same? if you did that? If you were like, I just love this one. Yeah, so I, I love just this. get. I just get it everywhere. <laughs> That's really funny. I just. I just want to. You know, it looks good on the leg. It's why get another. That's awesome. It's solid. Yeah. That's very. It's, that's very like. I mean, that's what six nine did though. With have, six nine. He got six nine tattooed all over his body. Like everywhere on his body. Yeah. Because it's a cool number. Okay, well, my man looks like the bathroom. What he did, um, but yeah. So, well, what would you get? Did you have a suggestion? I, I, I you know, I quickly thought. Oh, of it Boeing seven forty seven, easy. Oh, did I air fifteen? Duh. No, I, <laughs> yes. I think I would Wait. get a like a really cute like traditional like trashy style butterfly, and it has like the like curvy lines coming out of it. Do you know? Can you imagine what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you can I, imagine it. Exactly. like a butterfly, and then the wings kind of. Like some like flute. they just have those. Weird, I just want something like, really cutesy, like or late nineties vibes. Did I tell you guys? Totally. I I don't think I've told this story, but there was a, a a woman I was dating. I can't say what the tattoo was, but it wasn't this. But she had a tattoo of an incredibly realistic, like a uh, beautiful turtle on her back, like the entire length of her back. <laughs> And it was like, uh, That's so bad. It was like, no, it wasn't a turtle. It was really good. The tattoo was aw- like, I have to make this was like one of the coolest. Will most- it like identify her? Is that why? If think? I said what, yeah, if I said what oh, the tattoo was, all right. it like the most be- like beautiful tattoo I've ever seen. And uh, when I first saw it, uh, I was like, oh my god, that's such a cool tramp stamp. It was like the length of her back, like from her shoulders down her, and I was like, oh my god, Did tramp you stamps say are that? in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, she laughed, say? but I could tell she was also a little bit upset that I said that. Interesting. Yeah. People don't like that word now. They well, I think yeah, it's don't they actually, just want you to say like lower back? I think tattoo? it's fully coming back though. I think it's like fun. Yeah, I don't think there's anything because yeah, I, no, I understand. I guess like the, the the connotation of it, but I'm sure a lot of people have them like calling it tramp stamp. I think it's a thing for fun people. But yeah, it's a thing. I mean, it's literally word, you're saying that you are a tramp. Like you're, it's basically yeah, of course. Like, oh, you're a slut. No, that's fair. But it's, that's fun to be a slut now. But it's the same way. I feel like people still say wife beater, and it's like I don't. I've realized people don't say that anymore. I've I've people, heard and people, um, people, have stopped, yeah. people on the internet will now call it um, husband beater. I'm, right. I'm serious. People call it a man beater or a husband beater. Well, that's can they just call it a tank top? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dan, a Dan, l- Dan. much thicker fabric. It's, oh really? Well, I don't know. You know, the wife beaters is that. Sp- particular like it's specific really type of yeah we should call it a brando because <laughs> marlon brando wore them in street car named desire and he was gorgeous we should call it a Kristen stewart because i saw her wear it in a photo shoot oh that's cool. yeah but brando is quicker she's great stewart <laughs> fuck <laughs> all right i mean pretty solid are spencer you? i i do like a i do like the the tramp stamp we should call it a twilight lower back tattoo slash twilight because it's like it's one of those things that you get 
really just to let people know what kind of person you are. It's, it's almost the same thing as a tongue piercing. Just to right. be like, this is who I am. I'm ah, cool. See this? Ah, you I can, party. You can assume things from this. Right. Tongue piercings are Go kind of here. fun, though, because uh, it's hidden. Like yeah. You can know someone for a while and not know they have a tongue piercing. Right. Yeah. It's I mean, like no, I I would prefer a tongue piercing over someone having like a lip piercing or like a nose thing. I don't really get lip piercings. I don't really know. I had how. a lip I had a lip ring for a couple of years in college. I like a diamond in the ear. That's cute. I, I, a diamond in the I ear. love a septum piercing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I oh, think I had a septum center? I had my septum pierced. Really? Yeah, I've had my eyebrow pierced, my lip I had a lip ring, I had a septum none never at the same time. It was always one. Weird. But my lip ring, I had my lip ring in college and I worked for this company. I, I'm sure you guys all have this thing. It's like you call alumni at your college and ask them to donate to their yeah, college. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I had that job on campus. And whenever you, whenever someone makes a donation, it sends them a picture of you. And it's like, Matt wants to thank you for your donation of $25. So this is who funny. you talk to. And um, my boss called me into the office one day and he was like, hey, Matt, um, if you're going to continue working here, we need you to no longer have a lip ring. And I was like, oh, why? And he was like, um, multiple people have, upon receiving your photo, said that they will no longer be donating to this college. <laughs> so fucking funny. Because uh, they're like, we didn't know that this institute supported students like this. This is a Christian place, right? Yeah, and yeah. in the 70s and 80s, like if you had a lip ring, it meant that you were gay. Right, of course. And little did I know that it also meant that I was gay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so your body your body was just like Manchurian candidating your way into a fucking I was like, like, piercing place. Ah, I think me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. And they're like, yeah, well, what did you do this summer? And I was like, I sucked dick. I mean, I sucked a guy's dick, but that doesn't mean anything. I did it for God, I though. prayed for him. You've always been pretty in style with what gay guys are doing, it seems like. Always? Yeah. I mean, it just sounds like- Now like, you're problematic. I mean, when is, I was a kid, I played with my shit. Yeah, exactly. Is that what, that no, was no, huge no. back then for five-year-old gay yeah. guys. Uh, Pretty in style. I don't know. I mean, I've only been out since- 2014 but i mean like you were in the flow of when gay guys were like piercing faces more yeah and like now you're you're in the flow of like thrift shop east side Ugh, gay guy God, being that... problematic saying uh saying really you know rude I don't, I, you, things. you know what i think because of the internet like there is no longer one type misogyny of... no definitely not one type but you are in a if you're saying am strong, I the like, coolest type of gay person, the answer is yeah, yes. I, that's, I think what he's trying to say Thank in a you. very rude way is that you've always been the coolest kind of it's gay It's like guy. the stock market. I enjoy aesthetic. I have a lot of plants. I dress well. Right. Yeah. No, it's like the cock market. Like you are... You know, part like you're part of like a blue chip company. A you're a blue chip type. The cock market. Yeah, the cock yeah. market. Yeah. Of you like. You don't know about the cock market. Of types of gay guys. Like this is a new app. Yeah, thrift shop, east well, side it's not gay. Just, I mean, that's just a different kind of market. Like that's a Nasdaq, but the Dow is like uh, is straight cock. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, the Nasdaq, and you're you know like you're like part of a blue chip company. The Nasdaq. <laughs> but there's also, you know, like leather gaze and like, you know, it's Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like I enjoy myself and I think of myself less and less as like a gay person, which is so annoying Don't to say. Don't stop doing that. Which is so you, annoying no, no, to no. say. No, no, no. Think of yourself. Do you want to be famous? <laughs> you want a job? Don't think of yourself as an individual or a person. Get that out of your oh, fucking head. Be, That's stupid thinking. Be the community. Yeah. Be the brand. Be the brand. Be the brand. What is the brand? Don't be a person. Be a brand. Yeah, yeah, you know, but what is my the brand? Gay. I think my brand is like, uh, <laughs> it's like borderline offensive, like a gay no, guy no, no, no. who. No, 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 stop that. No, 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 stop that. Okay. It's one dimensional, one dimensional, heartless, surface level. Right. Um, my you talk brand about is gay guy who is bad person. All you do is talk gay. about hanging out with the girls. Gay guy who is bad guy. You're gonna be on a show where everyone's in a square. Okay, right. and you're gonna Hollywood Squares, and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be a little sassy. You're sassy and, in the square. And there's just you're mostly undertone, and you're one dimensional. Nobody ever really gets to know you, right? And I say, you're wearing that top. <laughs> you're great at it. You got it. You're gonna be big, but just well, no wonder he didn't want to bring you home, Susan. <laughs> That's different, but I still like it. <laughs> yeah, but just famous bachelor Matt Legrand. Right. Yeah, yeah famous bachelor, worldwide bachelor Matt Legrand. Well, you My favorite. 
flavor of ice cream is cupcake. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're done. You're do- you just finished doing a fucking popper, and you're like, hi, welcome to Hollywood Square, <laughs> dude. That would be so awesome to just be like closet in the fifties on Hollywood Squares. Where oh you're yeah, just, you're just getting fucked in the ass, and then you're just oh my god, being like time can, to go on television. Can you imagine the top notch no, dick those guys are doing? Because they really do. Like, there's no grinder, so. The only thing people have is watching like daytime television and trying to think who's gay and then going after them. Or they had these things that were called bars. Yeah, but there weren't a lot of those. In the, <laughs> honestly, in the what? in the there's a lot of a lot of bars. Bar. I know gay bars. Oh, well, or like cruising bars. So this area right now in the early 1900s was known as the Swisher Hills, and it has the lowest number of gay bars in the past 100 years. Right now, it does. Has the this lowest? Is, oh, right now it has like the at lowest. At one point, number. there were like twenty plus gay bars in this area. It's where all the silent movie stars lived that were gay. I guess I'm going off of because in Boston, uh, like like L.A. definitely, I, it may be an exception, or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's like in Boston. I remember like going to this play. It's I forget what it's called, something cabaret maybe, and it was like the only like gay bar in Boston for a second. Yeah, I mean, this was like I think a lot of this stuff was underground, but I mean, you are correct, and majority of the like locations in the states it's more i was also trying to make a joke did you like how me and dan just started talking about how awesome it would be to be closeted in the 50s right i just like that that conversation right, started right, and that right. was okay, like that all right well specifically and on, i was like wait actually Hollywood it might squares. be difficult which is even worse because <laughs> you're a public figure so like everybody's constantly asking you about your life and you still have to be closeted right, right. i mean horrendous they're like wait you have a roommate <laughs> you have so much money though what do you what do you need a roommate? Yeah, why for? are you living with a roommate? Uh well, you know, I mean, you know, Sydney's just a nice guy. Right. I have to save up money. Yeah. Move to town. Oh man. We should all just get tramp stamps. I think I'm gonna and get one. Sell out. I also really want a belly button ring. Yeah, I mean, we can get you. You that. should get a butterfly one. I'm just like, how cute would I be a at dangly. the beach? Like my <laughs> big hairy body, and it's just like I'm in a speedo and I have like a dangling belly button ring with maybe the star of David. If they'll allow it. That's fun. And then um <laughs> who's that like the the Have you not like, been to the beach lately? Dude, they are not cool with that at the beach. Do Jewish people run the beach? No, that, oh, it's the opposite. Oh they're discriminated. Yeah, Cooper. first of all, calm down. <laughs> That's Second Cooper, of all, the they're discriminated against mostly at the beach. What the where the f- where the frick did that come where from? Where did that come from? <laughs> well, you said I want to get a what star. The heck? <laughs> I want to get a star of David if they allow it. And I yeah. was like, yeah. So yeah. like the Jewish, have, have you never the met Jewish a lifeguard people? at Venice Beach? Oh my god, have you talked to a lifeguard, dude? They're anti-Semitic. No, <laughs> Cooper. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get the math on this one. I mean, we don't I'll, know. That could be a lifeguard thing. I'll oh stop going goodness. to Venice if those guys don't save Jews. I'll stop what has right now. Into you? Are you trying to get curb stomped? <laughs> <laughs> I go to Zumba. It's non-denominational. Uh, do you go to Zumba? Zuma. Zumba Beach. Oh, I think you meant Zumba. Like no. the exercise. I'm doing You're like, I go to Zumba. It's I'm, non uh, <laughs> No joke. I was like, that's lit. I'm going to get made fun of. It's I'm going to Christian. a pole dancing class. That's awesome. Yeah. Literally no one who watches I, this I'm podcast the king of is going to make yum. fun of you. You're, you're yumming I'm my yum. I'm the king yum. of yumming your yum as long as I like it. You're going yum, yum, yum. That's great. Yeah. You're, that's really good core exercise. That's I can't really wait. Good every part. Where are you going? I have no idea. You're going to get so into it. My friend Sid sent me the stuff. I'm just gonna go. Uh, can you send it to me? Yeah. I wonder. Is it expensive? I don't. I mean, even if it is, I'm just doing one class. This right, isn't like, gonna be my be new like hobby. A, it'll be like. It well, that's what that's what they always they like. You, that was me. Like I'm like. Mm. Yeah, if I was gonna get into, th- I would get into like learning how to be a male stripper. I wouldn't like. No, no, no. Because you think you're just gonna do it in college, and then the money's good, and so you keep good. doing it. Yeah, you forget yeah. that you wanted to do biology. I go back to so, it. <laughs> what's gonna happen? Yeah, biology. Yeah, you're saving up money for grad school. I want to take a pole dancing class, and then just when I'm up there, I just love be that. like, oh fuck. And then you just let out a massive heart. I'm coming. Just shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, my fucking pants. Um, how much time is left? Like ten minutes? Oh, okay. Thank God, I have a lot to talk about. <laughs> have you guys? Okay, get into it. Have you? Do you guys have the entire box collection of Dallas? <laughs> no, me neither. That's a good question, though. But yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. That it's a good icebreaker. Is that a current show? Mm, there was a reboot. Ooh. But it was a classic show back in the day, and the big question was who killed Roger Rabbit. There was a character, and they're like, "Who killed blank?" And I don't remember his name. 
is a very famous Why'd line. you bring this up? You know, I was trying to keep Was it like a bit flowing. that like, oh, it would be funny to bring up something that's like not interesting? Okay, but just, then make, you, just make notes to cut this. But then you said it and you were like, you oh, that was just stop, not interesting. You have to stop saying something and then saying cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't none that cut that bitch. Just, just bringing stuff up and just being like, you know what? Yeah, cut, cut it. Off. Let's cut it. You know, I, I, it was a big swing. It was. A There's big no head. person in the world that I think would uh, benefit from that in their actual personal lives than you. If you had the ability to do that in regular That's conversation. That's so mean. Yeah. There are people who have <laughs> killed people. What do you mean? If There are people who have murdered people. Yeah, that's happened. Yeah, yeah. So if they could cut things out of their lives, that would probably be... They would probably benefit for from that more than things that I have done. But they wouldn't. You would benefit from it because you try and enact change in yourself. Right. So Thank he's you. complimenting Oh, you. okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Cooper. That was so nice, actually. No, what I'm saying yep. is actually that you're full of regret. No, 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 no. Don't. Cooper was really on a great streak. I if I could you go back this. and redo things that were hurtful to others, then I would uh, make sure that they were happy. Whereas he's saying, like, a huge piece of shit like you, no. when you hurt someone, you would cut it out, and then you would do it worse. I would keep it. Yeah, I, I didn't hurt them enough. I was not saying that. Well, no, I wouldn't do that, but I would go, I would go back and watch it and go like... <laughs> 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 I would go back and watch me doing it and go... <laughs> <laughs> we should have people we've hurt on the podcast. Guys, we hurt. And then just come on and just be like, I was right. You're a bitch. Everyone fucking hates You're you. You're describing Mark Marin. You're describing fuck. WTF. Well, no, I like how Mark does it because he'll just be like, listen, I don't like you. I'm not going to lie about that. But I do feel bad for calling you a cunt at JFL. Right, right. He'll apologize for the specific things, but he'll be like, oh, I don't like you. But though. he's clear on how right. he feels. I remember, yeah, that's very That funny. is a great idea, a million-dollar idea, actually. No one listening steal this, but um, a pod called Who Hurt You? Right. And then you just bring on people who have hurt you. Right. I love that. Everyone's had that idea. That's like the most self-flagellating, like, I went to My school for God. journalism, but it didn't work out kind of fun. You know, like, I, got, you... I got a call for an audition that apparently everybody would call, but it's like, you're, you're supposed to... Uh, Everybody got bring your ex like you're, they're like, hey, can you get your ex to be on this show? And you just talk about why your relationship failed. And I was like, how about oh, yeah. how about you write a pilot? <laughs> how about you do that? How about instead of calling random open mic comedians and asking them to get their ex? How about you get a writer to write a show? No. You fucking asshole. Was it a I, reality show? Yeah, literally a reality. They should have called it. You do all the work. Where yeah. they just film you doing I all think the fucking work. That's a great idea. Work. It's a show called You Do All the Work. Right. <laughs> there you go. It's so stupid. It's like some reality TV is like is fine or whatever, but it's like that specifically is just like put yourself. Th they're they're looking for a person who just has no awareness of what will hurt them and what is like bad to do. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're you're a person that like really takes account. Of like how you're feeling and, and you how just, other and, people it's like yeah. I'm gonna call my ex and be like hey do you want to be on this TV show where you say where, like you relive our fucking relationship right. it's like you're gonna get paid 400 bucks literally yeah, 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 I, yeah. that's the thing I mean buyout. that's why I'm actually mad I have no problem with people doing that if it's for like a good amount of money it's for like $27 yeah, they pay you very, nothing very for stupid. that Dude, they're going even harder in commercials with not doing the work because like I get sent self tapes and then they'll just be like uh Pretend you're on your couch just having a good time. Yeah. And then they'll be like, play with it. And I'm like, play with it? What do you want me to do? Right, they're like, saying write the commercial. Yeah, like, yeah. you want me to fuck my ass on the couch? <laughs> Is that what you want? Because if you want me to <laughs> fuck should've. my ass on the couch... You should have been like, yeah, I didn't know I couldn't do that. It's you said acting. play with it. Yeah, it's acting. What am I going to do? Just sit there like an idiot? No, I fucked my ass. Right. You're like, that wasn't me. That was a character. That was a character. I don't even like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't like that kind of even, stuff. I don't even have that couch. Whenever anyone asks me to ad lib in an audition, I always just do. Uh, I always just do uh, Daniel Day Lewis, and there would be blood. Oh yeah. No matter what, if it's an audition for like McDonald's commercial where I'm pull, pulling up and ordering, they're like, "And this take, make it your own." I'm like, "They killed my boy. I eat the cheeseburger." <laughs> no, no, not even trying to, because that's too much. That's too okay. much effort. Yeah. I just go drained it. Mm -hmm. I usually threaten people when they're like, okay, so like you guys are at like a high school prom and then you look into her eyes and then you say something. I'll kill you. Yeah, I pretty much, I, I look at her and I go, 
I'll do anything to win. <laughs> and I do stuff like that. And people use I try and bring like a sports vibe to it. I don't know. People, I had to do a self tape today, and when I recorded it, I like said all the stuff I had to, and then I went, and this is a scab, not a permanent mark, because That's it looks fun. so bad. Oh it yeah, it looks like you have stitches on your face. It's crazy. Yeah, it was pretty funny because I came over last Insane. night, and the first thing Matt said to me was, "Oh my god, that looks so bad." That's what you want to hear, though, right? But it, I don't. Feel I mean, bad. I knew it looked bad. I don't feel bad mm. saying that because it's not going to be there for very long. But right. it yeah. is just like Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah. I hate it. It literally looks like you have seven stitches on your mouth. Like I feel you were like, like mauled by a bear or something. I feel like the mole guy in Austin Powers. And I literally thought that before I went to work. And then Bruce the Gray was like, guy, you're like the mole guy in Austin Powers. But the mole guy, it's like that's a permanent fixture on his face. Do you, you feel it. like it's making you stronger having to walk around with that on your face? No. It makes me very insecure. It's just kryptonite. It's that's what I thought. Him. It's ruining my life. I haven't made a TikTok in days. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> I feel too ugly. You got to get back. You got to make a TikTok about how ugly it'd be like, just so you know, this is very brave of me to say, but I'm okay with having a little bit of scarring on my face from shaving bad. I, I mean, feel I feel like I need to make a video on it that if I did, it would have to. We're in a similar place. I feel like very insecure because I have no facial hair right now. Mm -hmm. And I have 17 chins and my face, I look like I'm prepubescent. Yeah. And no one has looked at me with desire. No, I mean, I've been walking around without sleeves on, so I understand. People have been treating me weird. God. People have been treating me different. Just try to be relatable one time. People have been thinking, they've been looking at me and they've been going, oh, that guy must be stupid. One thing that's vulnerable one time. Yeah. Um, yeah, one time. Like one thing that's actually. Yeah, w- yeah. I w- okay, one time after sex, a woman said, "You're the most handsome man I've ever been with." Huh. <sighs> that is vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, that is vulnerable. You're welcome. Yeah, that's really good. One yep. time after having sex, a woman turned over to me and said, "I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up." And it was hot. You ready to get curb stomped? She curb stomped me. <laughs> we fucked, and then she said, "Bite the curb, Whitey." <laughs> she has a curb next to her bed. She's yeah, like, she I does. Was into that. Well, she was into skating. She's so. into kink. Yeah. One time after sex, a woman turned to me and she said, <laughs> why didn't we have sex? I'm a man. <laughs> oh, because I'm SSA. <laughs> Same sex <laughs> attracted, people. baby. And you were like, not again. <laughs> I have had sex with a vagina one time. Really? Yeah. yeah. What was, was it was like? It? Really, really, really sloppy. Yeah. Like really, really sloppy. But I thought it was his butthole. Oh, interesting. It's a long, it's a long day. Sure, sure. sure. He was wearing b- biker shorts. Okay. And you just kind of slid it in wherever you could. Yeah. He, this is my first year in Los Angeles and I saw an advertisement on Craigslist and it was like a hundred dollars for a room in West Hollywood. And I was like, fuck yeah. And attached to that ad with the text was just a picture of a guy bent over. Right. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, I'm going to go check out this place. But I low-key knew, like, I feel like we're probably just going to bone and then I'm going right, to leave. Right, right, right. So I get there and uh, this dude is watching a documentary about how Queen Elizabeth was actually a trans man. Awesome. Or is a trans woman, sorry. Uh, born as a man is a woman now. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, foreshadowing. Sure. Didn't think about it then. Um, Pretty, like, somewhat a- attractive dude. Big guy, linebacker, shoulders, hairy chest, kind of weird pattern, facial hair. Uh, we start making out. He pulls like this. What is the bed called when it's in the cupboard? And you, like in the cl- trundle, a trundle. He pulls it out, and then um, he's wearing shorts, and he has like this massive dick, like that I can see through the shorts. We start making out and playing with his dick, and then like he gets me hard, and I, he um, has like a slit in the back of his shorts, and so like I he slides my dick in there, and I start fucking him, and I'm like, this is really wide and sloppy, Interesting. but I'm like 21 and in, incapable of saying I'm uncomfortable, right? And uh, <clears throat> then uh, I come inside of him and then he was like hey do you want to know something and then I was like sure and then he pulls his shorts off and a dildo pops out right that was what his dick was and he was like you were fucking my vagina whoa and I was like oh interesting and then like I felt his chest and he had like the scars from getting breasts removed that's what's so funny about you is that your reaction to like thinking you were having anal sex and you were having vaginal sex as a gay man was interesting it is interesting meanwhile straight guys who have sex with like 
people in the like rare instances where a straight guy will have sex with someone and it turns out that they like they have a mental crisis about it sure but your reaction to it is like it's like well all right. it, it didn't affect you though anyways like, but man, pussy the more, ain't shit the more <laughs> unusual part of the encounter is that i was like oh so i was like oh you're uh, you're a trans dude um and i was like it's kind of strange that you told me it was your butt and it's not like i feel like there's some moral discrepancy yeah there. there's something strange there. but then he was like he was like i'm not a trans man he's like i was born a man and i transitioned into a woman in my 30s and i got my penis inverted into a vagina oh and okay i got breasts and then when i turned 40 i realized i wasn't a woman i just wanted to be a bottom then he transitioned back into a man and he got his breast cut out. He detransitioned. Whoa! And I'm, uh, I wonder if he ever got a penis transplant. Well, as of <laughs> as of seven years ago, no. Dude, imagine having if he got a penis transplant. Imagine having two penises and one vagina and one life. You've reached enlightenment this at that is, point. Yeah, yeah. What a perspective. But what a perspective. anyway, this person is like, I told this story to another person. They were like, Oh, you had sex with Joe Mangina. I was like, what? And he was like, Joe Mangina. There, he was like, this is a famous person who like detransitioned. And then I looked up and sure enough. That's so, th- it, they were famous. Yeah. Shout out so. Joe Mangina. Do Anyways. you guys want to do gay straight pan? Yeah. <sighs> that's the most incredible story yeah. of all time. That's a, that's a solid There were ending. so many left turns yeah. to that story. It's left crazy. Turned and it came full circle. It came full. Yeah, there were enough started to come full right circle. We started. So, you so never wait, know who you're going to meet in LA. Did that person make it clear that you were fucking their ass initially? Or were no. you just assuming? You uh, made assumptions. I made assumptions. You made assumptions. I did. Right. And like I assumed that I was that was say, their dick because I was rubbing and they're like, yeah, rub my cock. If it was, I'm just trying to, I mean, like I can't even wrap my head around that. And there's so many specifics to that. I that think you it can't was a situation where like some people would be like, I was violated or I was like raped or like, fuck. This well, person. I was going to say if, if it was a situation in which they were like, fuck my ass, but they actually had a vagina, it's almost on par with like, you know, obviously when you're having sex with a woman that doesn't imply that you have consent for anal sex. So it's like, right. But, I, but that's not even really the same thing. Like, I don't even know. It's a league how of its own. Think about it. It's a league of its own. I view this guy as sort of like Danny ocean from the ocean series where it's <laughs> like, it's like, he, I, yeah, he, I was thinking the same thing. He Me got, too. he got away with it again. You know what I mean? Like he, <laughs> he made a guy think it was a butthole, but it wasn't. And then, yeah. And then later on, it's like, what happened to the diamond? And then a guy's like, <laughs> Joe Mangina, you motherfucker. A contortionist you know? pops out of his uh, his bike pants yeah. and just I, goes, we got him again. I stole $50,000 in emeralds in my pussy because everyone <laughs> thought I had a dick. Yeah. Nobody knew the wiser at the uh, garage. That's so, exactly what I was thinking in that moment. Right? So, Cooper, just so Matt has a break, do you want to do pan Oh, first? can I tell you the worst part about that whole evening? Oh, of course. The worst part about that whole evening is I go back to my car and it was towed. Oh, that's great. That's so Did funny. Did you have Joe help you out? Or? No. Oh. I was like, I'm never talking to that person again. And mostly because he was like 50-ish, and I felt like he kind of took advantage of me as a 21 And then they were like, no, your car actually wasn't towed, so it was initially towed, and then it was parked again, and then right. we realized that we it was We parked it again. incorrectly? Yeah, we parked it incorrectly, so we, so we had to tow it again. Joe Manto. Joe Manto. Yeah. They're like, you're... Uh, your car is actually a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> your car's a bike now. <laughs> um, all right, Cooper, do you want to do Pam? I went and had dinner with my mom and brother last night. <laughs> you can't keep you can't keep I, doing these things. I had a good time. That's not Pam. Where'd you guys have dinner? I don't know. I've uh, I need to fuck a man, but I just keep hitting grinder at the wrong times. Right. That's okay. Like I got on grinder in like the morning yesterday. So just like horny. And then I like talked to this guy and then he's like, you want to get fucked right now? And I was like, ah, no, nah. it's like I'm having coffee. I was like, it's like 9 a.m. Yeah. And I was like, that would be like a, you know, kind of a wild way to start the day. Right. But I was like, I don't know if I want to go throughout the day. You know, starting off getting fucked is just like kind of a thing. Yeah. But if I had like a boyfriend, we woke up and then we just had sex. That's one thing. But to like go to a guy's house. He was 2,000 feet away, but nonetheless. Jesus Christ. Still leaving. Do you feel comfortable having him come to your place or no? No, not really. No. Neither. My roommates. walls are thin. I have like yeah. too many roommates, and it's just gross. Yeah. 
And I know anyone within a 2,000 foot radius of me also lives in a shitty place. But I don't want it to be my shitty place. Yeah, you don't want to fuck somewhere dirty. Having such a dirty, gross, straight guy room that I won't bring men to it is my pansexual. Ugh, God, that that's is, great. That is so bad. Both of you have that issue. No, I don't. My room's clean enough You haven't enough even to seen fuck. my room. I just said I, that. You, you, you just, just said it, and I yeah. believed you. I know. Because I trust you. But you ha- you like looked away as if you were thinking about what it Well, was. I knew what his situation was, Daniel. It's not that bad. Are you using the bike rack I gave you? Yes. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It, are you happy with it? Yeah, I had to buy a wheel stabilizer because it didn't come with that. But a what stabilizer? Wheel stabilizer. Because when you just put a bike up, the wheel will fall, so you have to buy something that clamps oh, it to the oh, bike frame. What? There is a fucking, there is a Velcro strip that it came with. Oh, do you have it? I'm not uh, sure. What? Can we check? Yeah, we can check. Um, um, what's something straight you did, Dan? Well, the whole date night was uh, was pretty straight. Good God. Yeah, Dates we are gay, dinner. dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? She had yeah, that was actually so gay. I paid for my girlfriend and I to get massages together, and Aww. then she sucked my little, my giant clit. Oh, she sucked that's my dick. What, that's not what it is. My clit is so big, I like to call it. Well, technically, cock. and anatomically, yeah, that is kind Ooh. of... so big. I got a two-inch clit. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it for massage. It's much bigger than Suck that. it for massage. Ooh. I'll, I will Ooh. give it to you <laughs> that anatomically a penis is kind of technically a clit, but it is much bigger than what you just oh, said. Oh, I just splooched. Do you, you f- want to play poker? What? I think I just feel like that was a big, like, that was a, that was out of line. That was out of character for you. What do you mean? To feel the need to defend your penis size. <laughs> she said two inches. Yeah, Everyone I'm, knows that your dick is bigger than two inches. No, not that's not true. Inches. Are anyone watching the podcast that would have believed that Matt I have never, has... I never... If you Dan think that Dan's a, dick was... If you believe that it was two inches, please comment. You're a loser if I, you think that. Here's the thing. I have never attacked either of your penises. I have only said nice things, in fact. So the fact that you would come after me on an audio podcast... Do you want me to come before you? A two-inch clit is huge. <laughs> It's such a big clit. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> such a big clit. I think it's inches. fine. I think it's beautiful. Well, okay. What, like, if you adjust it for inflation from clit to dick, yeah, two from inches, 1977 it's kind of a compliment. to 2020. Too. Just think of it in dick length, if that's Dude, what you want to do. Clit, clit used to be much bigger. It is crazy this. that clits and dicks are exactly the same. It's just that, like, with, with men, it just they just add. And there's no urethra, obviously. To it. Yeah, 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 that's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. No, but no. Like it's, and, well, and come. But a clit is an amazing thing because it only exists for pleasure. Right. It's the only reason it's there. Just Sometimes it exists for pain. Just hanging out, just being like, It depends what you do Hit with me! It. <laughs> Hit me! You know? I, I want to come! That's, don't you know, have this I was thinking. But. I was thinking about the fact that, like, women's, women's sexuality is so interesting because everything that you, like, read and hear about it is, like, well, it, it's very important for, like, sustain, that you, like, sustain pleasure over time and like that you hit erogenous zones but not too early because you want them to be warmed up before and then you get in bed with a woman she's like punch me in the face as hard as you can <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you like that i do feel like most women i know it's literally like i'm so fucking sick of pc culture where guys are treating me like i'm like this delicate flower where i want you to like pound up that's why I watch watch owen gray he shows you how to do it I'm like a Formula One race car driver. I'm like, I just wait for the lights. <laughs> you are and, not like a And Formula. once people say go, then we're going. You're going. People like to feel dominated. If you see the lights go out and they say slap, you're like, guess we're slapping. Matt, what do you think? A gay. Something gay I did? Yeah. I, I do too much gay shit. Right. What do you mean I'm not like a Formula One I'd be racer. doing too much gay shit. Um, I don't know. My, my boyfriend and I had a some the other day with a really hot guy that's not that interesting you guys really be doing a lot of um fucking uh we went to see a movie together yesterday that was cute uh and i'm going to vegas tomorrow to be in the drag race finale be in it i'm i'm like a i'm going to the drag race finale they're filming the final thing does anyone get left out in a threesome I uh it happens yeah sometimes definitely it depends have you had a threesome dan no but i've heard have you had a threesome, Cooper? No. Wow. Have you had a threesome, Lewis? Okay. <laughs> You're right. capable of well, that. You fucking slut. Yeah, I'm a you slut. You little slut. Uh, there is times where, like, yeah, definitely there's moments where, like, 
I don't know, but you have to be just like kind of chill about it, and it's fine. As long as you're all into each other, it's great. Okay. But there is the case where usually one person is more into someone else. The lady I'm talking to right now suggested a threesome. With two guys and her? Yeah. yeah Which I, I, might be more, oh, yeah. I might be more down for than a woman because yeah. cause, cause she was like, yeah, I mean, a lot of times like the women will just start focusing on each other. I'm like, that's what I would do. I mean, if, if right. you're like, oh, there's a, there's a babe here. Right. But I don't know. All right, let's say... Wait, oh, yeah. So we have to do high-energy shout-outs, guys. We need to give these people our all. So let's who are fucking, these people? These are people who subscribe oh. to, the, to the YouTube. Fuck so, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go. Uh, Zachariah the Witch. Zachariah the Witch, no, I see the... your DMs. I see oh my God, the Zachariah. like stories. Uh, I sometimes like them. I don't respond because... You know, sometimes I worry that if you give a person an inch, they try and find Zachariah, out where you live. The thing about him, he put a gun in my mouth, and I felt nothing but excitement sexually. But he seems like a great guy. Good guy. And I like his... He commented something funny on yeah. the other day on one of the reels. I like when people are funny. Uh, the hate speech stuff, I don't like that yeah, much. Yeah, we don't Zachariah. love that. Uh, Jennifer Co Connors. Jennifer Connors? Uh, Jennifer Connors. It looks like your profile po photo is like you're a teacher. LinkedIn, yeah. At some a sort school. of LinkedIn photo. Um, we know you feel trapped occupationally. <laughs> you need yeah. to get out. Whatever yeah. you're doing, get out of it. Teach yourself how to shoot a gun, go in, kill the principal. Um, and if I feel like you have a passion for animals, and that's what you've always wanted to be doing. So get in there. Alex the is hiring. Alex Kretzer. <laughs> Uh, uh, or yeah, Alex Kretzer. Alex Kretzer, change your last name. Change it. You also wouldn't stand a chance in the ring with Ronda Rousey. Yeah, if you went and fought Ronda Rousey, it looks like you're having fun. You're on the beach. You're having a good time. You're not training. You're not in the gym. And Ronda Rousey, even though she's not active, she hasn't been active since her loss to, I believe, Amanda Nunes. Yeah. Um, I still think you couldn't necessarily. Also, take I want to say I just looked at your picture and you're beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I was and also about I to bring I think up. you should know that I hope any man slash woman slash non-binary in your life is making you feel like you're a million dollars. There was dollars. one more person on the other page, Yeah, too. the last person was Lotto. Lotto? Lotto. Um, that's what I got of respect for you. You got a lot of respect. <laughs> <laughs> that was money. Uh, Kaylin Bat. Scary oh, ass last name, Kalina, Kalina Bat. Kalina, Kalina, Bat. Kalina Bat. Really scary last name. That sounds like a drag name. It's like, I'm... Killing in a bat, yeah. Like, killing a bat, or, or I was thinking cleaning a bat, like getting oh. a hand job. Oh shit! Killing a bat. Yeah, maybe we're being no. punked right now. Yeah, no, that's a scary name. I don't like that. Jess bat. Morris, one twelve. Damn, that's the same year my dad was born. Whoa. Um, Carlos, Carlos Camancho, look at this motherfucker. Are Carlos, you fucking kidding me? Carlos Camancho, the mustache out of this world. Also, Carlos, I wish you were going. I wish it was Carlos Commando. He probably eats oh, pussy yeah, for dude. like thirteen. Stop wearing underwear. Carl, Stop wearing if, underwear if you eat pussy, you do it for. If you don't eat pussy, which you know some people don't, Fuck you're them. still doing great. Last but not least, I bet Niram he. Full. I bet he eats oh, it on the rag. Oh yeah, absolutely. You got it. He would. You got Carlos, it, dude. You do, right? Oh, yeah. Carlos Are you kidding Commando? me? I prefer it. What's up with people being afraid of that? No one is. I don't get it. Eh, those are fake guys. That's just some liquid. Yeah. Uh, Niram Fool. Near, knee Ram Fool. Yeah, Knee Ram Fool. Knee my, Ram knee, fool. my Knee ram, ram Fool. Let me get a sock check. I, I, I wish it was empty, but it my knee is rammed and full. Lewis, is that high energy enough for you? Yeah. Also, I would like to say... <laughs> Last but not least, uh, Joe Mangina. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, shout out Joe Mangina. I... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, we're done. Thank it you just makes me want to laugh. YouTube.